YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Crypto J coming at you guys with yet another J Talks Crypto. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. I do my best each and every day to give you guys the top picks in cryptocurrency. And guys, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Um, I just actually got back from Vegas just maybe like two days ago. Still kind of settling in. My sleep schedule is still horrendous. I have no idea why my sleep schedule is so bad. I mean, I've already been home from Dubai now for like almost a whole month. And uh, I'm still not caught up on my sleep schedule, but I am planning on doing some more traveling very soon. But uh, until then, until after the holidays, um, I'm going to be covering a lot of SHIB and a lot of other coins that we like to cover on this channel. So if you enjoy content on this coin, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure you drop me a comment. Let me know how much SHIB you guys are holding. Um, we all, well, I was holding a lot more than I am holding now. Honestly, I sold a lot. We timed this top pretty much perfectly, um, but I am starting to slowly acquire more SHIB right now. I do think that this range is kind of the bottom in my opinion. It can get lower. I can be wrong. This can be horribly, predicted this is just a price prediction right now i'll give you guys some short term and some long term as well as can shib actually hit a penny um so in my opinion in the short term we might have found a floor this is good um also i decided to buy some because uh they are now being allowed on travala which is a really big travel site and i've been traveling a lot like i said at the beginning of the video so uh i'm going to be using my shib for my traveling it's something that me and my brother were already talking about to just be able to use your crypto to do things like booking hotels and booking travel and shib's really the only crypto that i know that is actually doing this now so unless there's others that i don't know of i'd love to know let me know in the comments below but um to my, the best of my knowledge this is the first uh partnership with like a hotel chain and like uh like an airline industry which i knew was coming sooner or later i knew i mean I, i'm sure bitcoin's probably taken by a handful of things but i don't know any airlines that are taking bitcoin uh and if they are it's definitely not accepted by most airlines so um yeah but uh travala is a great travel website they have like a ton of uh travel packages and stuff like that so uh the fact that you can just use your ship dollars to pay for your vacation is really cool to me um and that's something that is worth me having some ship so um i did take a, a position in ship um I, again i just bought some today i've been using my mining rewards um to just buy kind of this dip. I know a lot of people are really fudding up crypto right now. A lot of people thinking Bitcoin's going to go to zero. You know, all these altcoins are going to dump. Look, uh, you know, we can have more downside on Bitcoin. You know, we can't rule that out. It's definitely, you know, nothing, um, you know, that we shouldn't be worried about. We should definitely be worried about. I mean, look at it right now on the one day, you know, seven day, this could still break down and we could have more downside to this. Or we can double bottom for here. You know, I don't think I've ever looked at the Bitcoin chart and thought that, wow, this is not really exciting because it's always something, right? Like every day, if you really want to sit and look at the day chart, it's always like you're always on the edge of your seat. I mean, the day chart doesn't really tell you much. This is kind of negative. We could be at a double bottom right here, but like the seven day chart, this will leave you on your seat. You know, you don't know if we're going to drop down here and retest this, uh, this down here, or if we're going to double bottom up, you know, ultimately I think when you guys get into trades, you should be looking for an entry point that is good. And you guys should be looking for a exit point. I know a lot of people don't like to tell you to take profit, but I think you guys should take profit. Uh, definitely don't be greedy. You know, uh, smart traders will always encourage you guys to take profit it's one of the hardest things you'll do as a trader is to put that money in your pocket some of you guys see amazing gains and then you watch your trade go all the way down and um then you know because the market's going to correct guys that's the thing like you there's no chart that's going to go straight up they all correct so uh just know that just know that when you see a 30 40 percent uh gain that that's maybe a good time to take some profit you know if you if you time that good if you got that entry point good if you follow this channel we talk about good entry points all the time so definitely plug into this channel so that you can actually learn how to trade a lot of these people will just tell you to hold your bags and just hold them forever uh you can do that it could 
turn out well for you. You know, we want to make money this bull run and we know that these markets correct. So we're going to take profit so that we can buy the dip and dollar cost average in like a good trader should do. Like if you want to do this like full time, you need to get in the habit of taking profit. And I, I, I'm just saying it because it's just not said enough. Um, and I've seen people do it even in ship. I posted a video like we timed it perfectly at the top and um, literally like a lot of people made a lot of money and a lot of people got stuck in this trade. So, and they were stuck in this trade for quite a long time. You guys could look at the three month chart right now. Uh, SHIB now has just been on this downtrend since October. So um, net, we're now in December. So uh, this is nothing new guys. This is just what the SHIB chart does. It's always done this. It's always had these massive pullbacks of uh, 50, 60%. I said it in my video uh, that we would see probably like a 50, 60% sell off. And we might even see more downside. Honestly, I said in my other video that we might see the twos, but honestly, it just seems like we're just kind of riding this line pretty flat, you know, and I know there's a lot that is staked on Shiba Swap too. So I know uh, a lot of people wondering uh, to the comp, the title of the video, just realize, uh, is will ship hit a penny guys? It's going to take a lot of money for ship to hit a penny. I just want you to understand that we're at 16 billion market cap right now. And we have to understand a market cap guys. We have to understand how much money it takes to move these things. Also, we have to think about the type of people that can move a market like this. They're usually big institutions, whales, um, usually not crypto whales. Sometimes yeah, crypto whales. Uh, there's people that have been long in this game for a very long time and make great money in this. Uh, a lot of these guys are, you know, big hedge funds. They're, they're professionals at messing with your money. So, you know, just understand that, that when these big guys get into this stuff, um, that it is going to cause prices to pump, but understand that the whales just entered the tank and you should be taking profit guys, because if not, you're going to get dumped on. Uh, we've been talking about, you know, the fact that ship just had a lot of whales was very inflated, uh, but we're, we were waiting for it to bottom out. And again, I just feel like this is a good time. So I bought some ship today and I'm going to be using it to travel anyway. So I'll just be picking it up. If it dips a little more, I'm just going to buy it some more. It doesn't matter. Um, but that's how a good trader trades guys. You should be buying the dip you know you should you know i'm not going to go all all in uh with all the money that i made off a of ship i have other investments that i do um so uh that money is allocated other places as well as I'm traveling a lot i'm buying real estate right now so i'm doing a lot of things guys you want to plug in because all the game that i've learned in the past couple years i give it away for free right here on this channel as a matter of fact if you guys want to come trade with your boy crypto j all you got to do is hit me up on IG at JTalks Crypto. I'm going to pin it in the comments below. All you got to do is that. I'm going to start doing more live videos, guys. I want to start getting a lot more active. So let me know in the comments too below what coins you want me to be reviewing. And maybe you might see your coin in my next video. I'll catch you next one. Peace.